700 years had passed since the mighty Assyrian Empire's fall, yet its people's memory remained etched in the chronicles of history. Despite the passage of time, Assyrians were still revered as the land's original inhabitants. One individual recognized as the founder of monasticism or the father of the monks was Mar Algin, also known as Saint Eugenios. He was a monk originally from Clisma, an area north of the Suez Canal in Egypt. Mar Algin had undergone a profound transformation from being a pearl fisher to embracing Christianity. With a steadfast conviction, he embarked on a remarkable journey accompanied by 70 loyal companions towards northern Mesopotamia. There he founded a monastery on Mount Isla, above the city of Nisibis. His destination was Sarguga, now known as Sirnak in the borders of present-day Turkey, Iraq, and Syria. Within the hagiography of Mar Algin, Sarguga held a special place, as it was regarded as an Assyrian city. His hagiography reads, <laughs> He is saying that Sar Usur, one of the sons of King Sennacherib, sought refuge in Sarguga after his father's assassination in Nineveh. There, he constructed a temple to honor his father's memory, and generation after generation upheld this sacred place until the arrival of Mar Ogin. He adds that the people of the village who were Assyrians have heard of Mar Ogin's miracles and celebrated his coming. It is worth noting that Mar Ogin was not an indigenous inhabitant of the region. In fact, the land had experienced the rise and fall of seven empires over seven centuries. Yet despite this complex history, Mar Ogin believed that the region belonged to the Assyrians, who were the true inheritance of the land and was documented in his hagiography.